we're trying 100 years of the most popular candies. Welcome to the 1900s. The United States was only 124 years old and candy was simple. Rock candy, oh. Beeman's chewing gum, and candy drops were super popular. Did y'all buy this from the 1900s? Cause it'd be stale. I almost broke a tooth with that. The average cost of candy was? Two cents. You saw that on the album. No, I didn't. He read this. No, I didn't. This. I love history no. though. All right. The 1900s goes on the best candy podium. Welcome to the 1910s. The US got involved in World War One, and the Titanic sunk. Great movie. We have some interesting candies here and this candy specifically was given in World War One rationing. They're pretty good. Did that not hurt your teeth at all? Yes. We have Sin Sin. This was like the old timey breath mint. It looks like charcoal. Is it good? Ew. Ew. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna. Okay, it's not that bad. It's bad. <laughs> the nut goodie. Nougat peanuts in chocolate. Mm. They're really good. Wait, yeah, this is really, I love this. Speaking of peanuts, mm. my great grandmother had a recipe with potatoes and peanut butter, and we're gonna make it. Step into my kitchen. Potato candy's origins can be traced to recipes brought to America by Russian, Irish, or German immigrants to the country, and the recipe only appears to be popular in the United States. Combine mashed potatoes, butter, one cup of sugar. So once it's rolled out, we're going to put mm. peanut butter right on top of it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I definitely think that candy made up for those nasty mints. 1910s for the win. <laughs> Welcome to the 1920s, where women now can vote, and there is jazz music. And something very confusing called the chicken dinner bar. Well, I was promised candy, not chicken. The chicken dinner bar emerged in 1923 as a simple nut and chocolate candy, similar to the candy we have today, Baby Ruth. Oh wait, there's something sweet in there. Chicken. <laughs> We nice. also have three other things. <gasps> Tootsie Roll Pop, Charleston Chews, and Bit of Honey. It's hard on your teeth. Oh, I expected more honeyness. Let's get to chewing. All right, so apparently you're supposed to eat it refrigerated. Ah. Whoa, it hurts. Mm. Save the best for last here, though, because we have Tootsie Roll Pops. If you find a star on the wrapper, the urban myth as a kid was you take it to the store and they'll give you another one for free. <gasps> I have a star. No way. No, 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 no. I really no do. Way. I have a star. Stop I have it. a star. What? I never found one. <laughs> Wait. <gasps> I got a star. That's exciting. And Let's you know go. what? We have a challenge to get to. <laughs> I saw this commercial. It's the little owl. A one, a two, and a then... three. <laughs> But we're gonna see how many licks it actually takes. Are you serious? And we have our answer. On average, it takes 262 to 350 licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. I can't feel my tongue anymore. Do the 20s take over the podium? This stuff was way more groundbreaking. 1910s. This is the 1930s, which unfortunately is marked by the Great Depression, but there's some cool stuff. The Wizard of Oz came out. Wait, really? Superman was born. Isn't he like a thousand years old? We have something called the Sky Bar, which Ooh. apparently planes would like write Sky Bar in the sky. That's exactly right. Yeah. I like it. Bump it up. Now we have Red Hot. No. Why well, do I hate, you hate cinnamon, cinnamon candy. It's not meant for oh, candy. Oh, it's not a chewy one. I just hurt myself. I. <laughs> ooh, 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 it's Red Hot. And you know what else is hot? The oven. And we're gonna make the Great Depression cake. Wow. Nice segue. Many families were affected economically by the Great Depression, leading them to make simple and affordable desserts like the Great Depression cake. Do you have to cry whenever you eat this? Let's try it. We're gonna start with one and a half cups of flour. And guess how much that cost back in the Great Depression era? 10 cents. 23 cents. Whoa. A cup of sugar, salt, cocoa powder, cooking oil, vinegar, vanilla, and then one cup of water. Interesting. It does look a little dry. Will it make us cry? Uh, I would give it like a six out of 10. Three, Three two, two, one. one. No. <gasps> Are you serious? Are you serious? Fine. Welcome to the 1940s, where World War II has ended. Finally. Yay, and we have invented bikinis, so everyone's happy. So we have three really good candies Ooh. here. Let's start with Junior Mints. Yes. Have you ever frozen them? No. They're They're good. Mm -hmm. mm. Next, we have Jolly Ranchers. My favorite is a pineapple one. I love watermelon Jolly Ranchers. I'm gonna tell you facts about M&Ms, yes. and Chase, yeah? you're going to find every single blue M&M in this bowl and separate it onto the table. Okay. The reason I have Chase pulling out all of the blues is because the original colors didn't include blue. Violet was discontinued and replaced with tan. 
In the late 1940s, the tan M&Ms remained in the mix until 1995, when the company finally came to its senses and the company held an open vote. Blue one. Obviously, blue is better well, than tan. Blue, I, I, I can't That's do okay. this. That's okay. I've seen enough. I think Dang it. Ah! We're getting rid of the 1910s, aren't we? 1940s for the, for the win. win. All right, so 1950s, there's a ton of nostalgia. So I love it. the kids from the 20s and 30s, they're all grown up. True. And they want to introduce their kids to their, their favorite childhood. candy. Yes. So I love Pez it. was actually invented a while back, mm -hmm. but it made a comeback in the 50s. Candy cigarettes also did the same, and these were invented in the 1950s. No way. Lemon heads are so good. These are some of my favorite candies. Me too. The average cost of a candy was five cents. And I love it. Pain. No, it's good paint. Candy cigarettes. Uh -oh. I've seen these before. Steven told me in the commercials that they would say, smoke a cigarette like your dad. My dad would never. <laughs> My parents have never smoked. Oh, oh these look wait. legit. This is horrible. All right, now what? <laughs> this does nothing. It's just mint. straight up sugar and mint. That's gross. Just like smoking. Don't smoke, kids. Pez. You take the head, you open it, you pull out the candy. Welcome to the price, price is, is right. right. So we have insanely expensive Pezzes behind us. What? We're gonna try to uh, put the right price with the right dispenser. Oh, Mickey Mouse? Will and Kate, put them here. I'm guessing 4,000 here. This is a witch lighter? I'm so confused. Because it's so ugly and doesn't make sense, I feel like it's expensive. We have been told this is the original looking All right. Pez. Four. All right, Mickey. Mickey Mouse. Whoa! Will and Kate. Yeah, let's see. <gasps> this should be what? Queen Elizabeth. She's worth that much money. OG Pez. I thought the older, the more expensive. Me too. The Martian. There's no way we're right. We both lost. <laughs> let's go to the podium. Oh, how relevant are Pez's, honestly, nowadays? But M&M's and Jolly Ranchers are, are still relevant. Very relevant. So obviously, we got to keep the 1940s on the dub. Drum roll, please. We have a special guest for the 1960s, Chase's mom, yay! This is my mom. In the 1960s, alongside lunar exploration and Martin Luther King's dream, Mars introduced opal fruits, which is actually what Starburst opal? was originally called. So what yes. is y'all's favorite? Orange all day. The pink. I'm pink too. Hey, who can open it up the fastest? <laughs> Got it. Oh, oh my, it's blue. I went. Peeps required up to 80 people, 27 hours to make one trade. You like peeps, right? They're the most disgusting things on the planet. <laughs> they are cute, they're cute. Uh, and you can glue them on stuff. Ugh. Is it the texture for you? I hate marshmallows. Really? Pixie sticks revolutionized how kids enjoyed candy for decades. How much do you think, on average, a candy costed in the 60s? 10 cents? 10 yes. cents? Dang. Wow. It's almost like someone was go. from the 60s. Oh. I love these. That's very good. Oh, oh, jeez. You're making a mess. Sorry. Sorry, Mom. Was this how he was as a kid? <gasps> she did it too. I feel like this is a very different palette of sweetness compared to all the other decades we've done. Mm -hmm. These are all fruity, mm -hmm. not chocolatey. We're gonna have to have you decide between the 60s Ooh. and what's over here. Are the 60s or 40s going to take the podium? No pressure, Mom. The 40s. Yeah. What? I'm sorry. That. You're yeah. Oh. Oops. <laughs> That's where I get it. Welcome to the 1970s. Let's go. This is my dad. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not my dad. <laughs> Did you have a favorite candy growing up? Bottle caps. We don't have those on the table for and you. And they came out in the 70s. So, Randy, how much do you think the average candy costed in the 70s? 25 cents. 15, pretty yep. close. So first, we're going to have some Laffy Taffy. Since the beginning of Laffy Taffy, they have always had a joke on the wrapper, hence the Laffy phrase. What's even cooler is each joke has been written and sent in by children, so you'll find all sorts of silly puns wrapped around this silly candy. What type of check has no money? It's a blank check. For nutrition information, Call 1 800 358. <laughs> Wait, did I read that right? What can you catch but not throw? Uh, okay, tell us, tell us. Uh, for nutrition information. Oh, nice. no. What is a snake's favorite subject? History. Oh, there's the answer. A oh. cold. It's kind of like strawberry flavored plastic. I love it. Now we have gobstoppers. You're supposed to bite into it? No, no you're supposed to it. suck on them and they change color. I like these. Oh, they're good. Ring pop. I propose to myself. The guy who invented this was trying to keep his kid from sucking on his thumb like that, and so he gave him 
a ring pop. Apparently, people used to think this would not be good for you if you had pop rocks in your mouth and you chugged soda. Did you explode? Oh, my jaw's cramping. Oh, I swallowed it on accident. Oh, I feel it through my body. <laughs> we will not explode from this experiment, but pop rocks are amazing and Chase is not feeling well. It's really hard to decide. It, this is Because Jolly Ranchers are awesome. Yes. M&Ms are awesome. I think it's gonna have to stay in the 40s. <gasps> but what if bottle caps were included? Oh, it'd be the 70s. Okay, well, maybe <laughs> next time. 40s, right. still in for the win. The 1980s. Best decade. Woo! We have to celebrate Tommy being born. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. It's not your real birthday, right? No. In the 1980s, alongside personal computers and hefty cell phones, iconic candies emerged. Skittles, with its vibrant Taste the Rainbow experience, stood out among colorful candies. Are you saving those for later? I don't know. We could just great. give you the bowl. It's the 80s. Things were crazy, okay? In 1985, the tangy delights of Sour Patch Kids, which are my favorite candy, hit U.S. markets, swiftly winning hearts with their sweet and sour charm. So we have Airheads, oh Skittles, and Sour Patch Kids. These are three kids. of my favorite candies, Bree. I don't like He them. doesn't like Sour Patch Kids. That's my favorite candy. I, I hate sour candy. Mm. <laughs> oh, wait, he's not joking. He's acting. Show the camera this sour face. <laughs> Following suit, Airheads became a non-chocolate sensation in 1984. When it comes to Airheads, what is the mystery flavor? All of them. They combine. So it's just like they're scraps. They just like put all in a ball and... And just say, go ahead, go have fun. How much do you think candy was in the 80s? Get four of these for a dollar. It was 25 cents. Can you taste all the flavors? Do you know what I'm doing right now to the Airheads? A challenge that we're about to do. Exactly. Apparently, if you... Shake this around. The airhead is going to get tiny and more flavorful. Oh. Ah! Here we go. This is the original length. No hey, way. Tommy! It gives it way more flavor when you do that. Yeah? More flavor. Right. All right. Now, do we think the 80s are better than the 40s? Subscribe if I should be born in the 40s <laughs> because they have Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> and, and Definitely the 40s. Nothing's going to dethrone the 40s. the 40s. Sorry. Dang it. Ah! Chase Monroe. In the 90s, Michael Jordan was throwing those baskets. And candy shelves were filled with sour and flavor. How much do you think the average candy costed, Steven? Get it wrong, you're fired. Oh, it was up. If that's the case, it was 85 cents. That's correct. <laughs> we have dip that is fun, warheads, and bottle baby pop. bottle pop. Baby, baby bottle, bottle pop. pop. Let's start with okay. some fun. Did anybody else ever just like? No. Your dentist hates you. How many cavities did you guys have as a kid? I don't know. Why are you being weird about it? I did have cavities, but I just don't know the number. He must have had a lot. <laughs> this is just like the 90s, getting bullied by my siblings. <laughs> Loser. I'm going to the 2000s. Ah! <laughs> I'm back for the baby bottle pops. The powder's not good like I remember it. Honestly, I feel like this powder would be better with it. Probably you won't same. mind? No, I'm okay. Just try it. I'm okay. <laughs> Steven, it's like a little moment. I don't think he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a world record where this person held 30 warheads in their mouth for 60 seconds. One, two, three, don't nine, try, please. 10, oh. 16. <laughs> 17, 24, 25, 29, 30, 31, this is the Tommy record! One more and you break it! One more and you break it! 54 seconds left. Right, Ten, keep it in. Nine, keep it in. Eight, eight, three, two, one. You did it! You broke the record! Yay. Yes! Sir, you did it! You did it! Oh my. I'm be real, like, yeah? I don't like any of these candies. <laughs> oh. oh! So, I'm gonna go with the 40s. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no fun. I understand. Oh. Welcome to the 2000s. <laughs> Larry is here and you're having to take care of Chase now. The era of mind-blowing iPods and movie-themed candies. How much do you think the average candy costed in the 2000s? Are you sure? Yeah. Four. Seven. Seven what? Just seven, Bree. 99 cents. That's oh, pretty much so the same close. thing. George W. Bush was elected as the 43rd president of the United States, and you still relied on a clock radio to wake you up because Google Assistant wasn't around yet. This is just gum. This is not a candy. Let's all um, see how many okay. pieces of gum we can eat. Oh, you're gonna hurt him. It's okay. 
It's okay, Larry. That's so legit. good. In 2007, Five Gum zoomed into the scene, promising a sensory experience with just five calories. I will say, Five Gum is good gum. Wait, kid, wait. Hey, yo! Wait, are you telling me kids used to do that? Rob, a jewelry store and tell me make them a grill. Giant gummies from gummy bears to lollipops rose to sweeten the dreams of candy lovers, satisfying both sweet tooth cravings and whimsical desires for oversized treats. This does not look like a bear. It looks like a fox. Can I let the intrusive thoughts win? Yeah. Yes. Go for it. Ow, it's hard. Oh! I can't, I can't do it. It's stuck in my teeth. I never had one of these. Stop it. Next, we have a challenge. Birdie bots beans. He put the gummy fox on the wall. No. Jelly beans wizardry came to life with Birdie Bot's every flavored beans from Harry Potter, bringing daring tastes like black pepper and dirt. Ugh. So this is an actual game called Bean Boozled. So it would come with a wheel, you would have to spin it, and then whatever bean it landed on, you would have to eat. And it could be delicious or it could be... Uh. And then, come on, stop. Ooh. Yes, I like the light blue ones. Light. Probably minty, right? That Ooh. should be soap. Oh. Is it bad? It tastes good. Wait, that doesn't look good. Is it good? Oh, it's banana. It is Wait, banana. Wait, really? It did good look job. banana. Dang it. Oh. No, no. What do you think it is? Cinnamon. Cinnamon, okay. Oh. Yeah, oh, cinnamon. Cherry. All right, Larry, spin for me. Oh. What the? Bri, are you gonna allow this? All right. <laughs> What's it taste like? Oh, Tell us what it tastes like. Tell it's us vomit. <laughs> I think the 2000s wins. Yes! Forget yeah, it. Just yeah. knock it off. Oh, 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 jeez. 2000s, baby. The 2010s. And we have Chloe joining us. She was born 2015. She is a scientific anomaly. I aged really fast. Yeah. This was when the Chicago Cubs broke a 108 year curse by winning the World Series. Also, the first iPad came out, which was very oh, yeah. exciting. Yeah. So we have a Reese's take five. Reese's is wrong. And if you say it, change your way. I am actually excited for this one. It's called a take five because there's five ingredients? Pretzels, caramel, peanut butter, peanuts, and chocolate. You don't like it? It's okay. If I'm eating Reese's, I, I, I don't want the pretzel. I want the Reese's cup, Brie. Haribo's rainbow frogs bursting with strawberry, lemon, orange, and raspberry joy hopped into the scene. His little booty and his little head. <laughs> Got his little eyeballs. Better than I thought they were gonna be. Mouth My coloring gum bubble gum. gum. A 2011 Halloween sensation turned mouths into vibrant canvases with fruity flavors. Freaking it just out. tastes like bubble gum. Yeah. Nice. So Chloe, seriously, we're getting close to the end of this video and you can't mess this up. If you mess this up, we're financially ruined. That is a lot of pressure. <laughs> and I need to feed my dog. Okay. I think 2010s is a lot better. Okay. Right. A reasonable, reasonable, uh, reasonable. <laughs> one last decade. And then it's over. No more decades. Let's unwrap the sweet candy history of the 2020s. We have Dash, Dash. joining us to help us with our final decade. How much do you think it costs on average to buy a candy? Maybe like $2. 150 So that was really good. A hundred years ago, it was like five cents. Inflation. Can I go back? In the 2020s, I will mention the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X were released. We only have one expired candy in this entire video, and it is actually these from the 2020s. Skittles went on a flavor adventure and took a dip, literally, with a yogurt flavored coating to this classic. Wait, look at this. Look at this tiny S. It's like wearing away. I don't want to get food poisoning. No, I don't want that either. We do have Feastables here. During the pandemic, Mr. Beast Feastables rocked the scene by giving Hershey's a run for their money with more health conscious chocolate. They're all good, but I love milk chocolate. Mm-hmm, me too. There's not a ton of candy that came out in the 2020s like originally. That was invented, oh. so Mr. Beast. It was like the only one. I am excited to try a Kit Kat duo. I've never had one. What makes it a duo? Do you know? Um, they've got two flavors, I think. Blueberry muffin. Strawberry dark chocolate is good. Mocha. Oh. Dash, you are going to be deciding what decade is the best of all time for candy. Let's go to the podium. Oh, oh he's doing it. Wins. Yes. All right, 2020s for the win. I don't necessarily agree, but we can't pick the 40s up off the ground. Or maybe we can. 